There are so many distractions just waiting around every single corner, ready to snag our attention and take us away from everything that we're working towards, our goals, our to-do lists, especially if you are an online entrepreneur and you are on social media all day long or on your computer. If you keep getting distracted from working on your passion, the business that you are trying to grow, you are in the right place. In this video, I am going to share with you the three most common distractions I hear entrepreneurs talk about and what I do about those distractions to help me stay focused and in the present moment. Let's get started. If we've never met before, my name is Becca Rich. I am a holistic time management coach. I help women entrepreneurs take back control of their day so they can get everything that they want to get done in less time without exploiting themselves so they can grow their business in a way that feels really good and free. So the first most common distraction is social media. I bet you could have guessed that, right? If you feel the urge to be on and connected with the entire world 24 seven, this one is something that you probably struggle with. I know I do. Since our businesses are on the internet, on social media, it gives us a reason to be on it every single day. So we need to be super clear about how long we wanna be on social media and what are we doing on it? Or we're just gonna spend all day long, every single day, scrolling. The first thing that I did was get rid of all the notifications, visual and audio. So no dings, no banners on my phone or my computer for any social media or emails or text messages or anything. And then I found myself wanting to go on those things and check my phone and check my computer to see if I got notifications. And so that's when I started to set timers for my social media, specifically Instagram and Facebook use. And initially I chose an hour and a half a day for all of those apps combined. Now I'm at a 45 minute limit because I found myself wanting to use up that hour and a half. Then I found myself going over the timer. So that's when I was like, I have an issue. So I asked my husband actually to create a password in my social media limit thing on my iPhone. And now only he knows the password. So if I go to my limit of 45 minutes, he has to actually put in the password that he knows. I really honestly don't know it. And you might be like, whoa, Becca, that's a little too much. I don't wanna take it that far. And you don't have to take it that far. Like I said, this was the progression to make sure that I did not spend my entire day every single day on those apps. My outlook on social media and all of these apps are that they're made for us to be addicted to them. And so there's nothing wrong with putting support systems in place. If you haven't watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix yet, go hop over there and watch that video because it explains how and why these apps are so addicting. And it really just gives me a lot of self-compassion around this whole issue. I still want to be on it. It still helps my business. I still talk to people every single day, but I needed and wanted this support. Okay, so now that I've brought up my husband, let's just be honest, this is the second most common distraction that I see entrepreneurs and working people have to deal with. It's our family, our friends, our social media peeps, our coworkers. if you have a nine to five, and we're still in a pandemic right now, and so for the people who are privileged to work from home right now, being at home is opening another can of worms when it comes to distractions and people and things coming in and out of our work area, our zone all day long. I know that sharing a space with my husband is pretty difficult. I have so much respect for the moms and the dads and the just everyone that has more than just one or two other people in their space, especially when there are our own projects, our own businesses, our own passions. It's so much easier to put our things off. So what I do in my personal life is to be super clear ahead of time, tell my husband, these are my creative focus hours. They happen to be from I don't know, I think like nine to 11 or 12 right now in my life. And he pretty much knows not to talk to me. However, when he does continue to talk to me, we've just finished breakfast and I'm, you know, transitioning into my work morning, he'll still ask me questions about something. And so I do my best to just gently and compassionately tell him to leave me alone. And I just wanna also say here that having people in our lives is also a privilege. I know that there's a lot of people who do not live with someone else and there has been so much feelings of isolation during 
during this time and so it goes both ways. People or not having any people around us can be a really common distraction from our work. And the third most common distraction is our minds. Our minds are wild, wild monkeys. And I say our because mine totally is too. Our minds tell us that we should be doing this thing instead of that thing that we're currently working on. When we're starting our own businesses and growing them, our minds like to tell us that we're not good enough so we continue to buy courses and stay in a learning cycle instead of taking action. And the other thing that our mind loves to tell us is that we are behind. So then we start multitasking and frantically and anxiously start trying to work on everything. When our brains are trained to be on all of the time, our thoughts start to dominate and take over our actions. And just to be fair to the brain, all it's doing is trying to keep us safe. So there is compassion here. But when we're starting our businesses, we need to be able to feel the fear and anxiety and still take action. So what I do here is because like I said, I have a monkey mind too. When my thoughts are raging and I'm really scared or I have a lot of limiting beliefs around something, I write it out. I talk through with a friend. I get it out. I don't try and suppress it. And then I try to move the energy, right? So breathing, meditating, moving my body, going for a run or a hike, doing anything that you can to move stuck energy. And that could just be yawning, taking a nap. Comment below your most common distraction, either one that I talked about or one that I missed, and what you are going to do to mitigate those distractions in your business and in your life.